What is up YouTube? I'm back again with another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the third pattern M1955 flag jacket from the US Marine Corps. So starting with the top, has a thicker collar than the second pattern. You'll see two eyelets on both sides, so a total of four eyelets. They had a uh, carry handle there that was paracord oftentimes ripped out just like on this one it has the shooters cords on both sides it's a uh, zipper and snap closure the flap is squared off unlike the second pattern and first pattern they kept the notepad pocket with the pen pocket they made the pockets I think they're actually smaller they, they made them tapered out Kind of like on a, a BDU pocket, the chest pockets on BDUs, um, and they had them uh, open buttons, which made them more susceptible to falling off, and you see most of them without their buttons like these ones. Unfortunately, this one, or these pockets are torn, so I'd have to find a way to fix that. Um, but they kept the integrated belt with the eyelets. They made this, the zipper closure out of this thinner material, which falls apart easier. It's almost like a khaki, like an OD7 almost. This example is missing the side of zipper. It is named Kramer. Opening it up, you can see the tag. And for some odd reason, they almost never stamped the size on these. Oh wait, well, I don't know. It's hard to tell, but it doesn't really look like it. Basically, it says the same thing that the Army ones did. 70% of all combat casualties are caused by like mortar or fragmentation type weapons. This vest, when worn, protected, when, when worn properly, will protect you against those types of weapons, blah, blah, blah. So, has the plates, flip it down on its back, you can see the shooter's cords, Kramer again, it has a lot of stains on it, I think it's missing a plate here, but the bottom is sewn up, which is weird, and it does have a, a hole there, that could be an easy fix. So these things, it's currently unknown as to what year they came out um, and when they stopped making them because with the second patterns you can find those dated up to 1980 but I've never seen one of these with a specific year on it. Um, you can find photos, actually quite a few photos of Marines wearing these things during the 1968 Tet Offensive so my guess is they were contracted in 67 along with the second pattern and then they just made the second pattern longer because maybe they liked the design better is my guess um, so there's a myth out there that these things are useless for nom collectors no that's not true or reenactors um, if you do late Vietnam you know like 60 or 68 all the way up to the end of the war yeah you could use one of these the biggest reason why I always want a third pattern not because of Vietnam it's because of the movie Overboard Kurt Russell uh, plays a uh, retired divorced marine and in that movie he actually wears the third pattern flak jacket I always thought Kurt Russell was pretty badass I think his, his first movie that I ever saw of him was uh Escape from New York when I was about like 9 or 10 and that was like the coolest thing I'd ever seen um, but anyways that's pretty much it the history of this vest this one's a medium um, it has three across on the top and then one two three four there should be one there uh, on the back five across they're about five inches up, uh, 
each plate is about f the, the width of five, five by five. So if you don't know what the size it is, but you can count the plates, then that'll give you a, a good estimate of what size it is. Um, but I think I'm actually gonna sell this and try and get a larger one. Um, Cause I think, uh, well, it's sad to say, but my days of wearing mediums sailed uh, probably around seventh grade. So <laughs> anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new. If you guys have any questions about this thing, just go ahead and let me know. And as always, have a nice day. Oh, before we go, um, I do want to say, I know people always ask how much did I pay for this or that. And I don't really, I'm not ashamed of how much I pay for an item. Uh, after shipping, I paid $177 for this, which isn't a terrible deal. Um, to do does have some relatively easy fix, like the uh, pocket buttons. Probably just gonna have to sew like BDU style buttons on there and a zipper, new zipper closure. That's pretty much it. But uh, I saw it listed and it was or best offer, but I didn't want to risk it, so I just bought it right up. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video, and as always, have a nice day.